I ordered this smart camera off of Amazon in the hopes that it's going to work as an outdoor camera to kind of spy on my horses. So you can see this is the box that comes in. I have not even opened it yet. So comes with a booklet for quick user guide install. Comes with a USB cord. It is not a USB-C. I am destroying this box. Comes with a little pack of mounting hardware, some plastic inserts and screws, and then the actual mount itself. Which seems pretty adjustable. And then the camera. This, if I can get it to pop out, it appears to be where the SD card goes, where the power button is, and where you charge it. I am installing the app for that Z-Port security camera. So in the little quick guide, they've got a link for Apple and a link for Android. So I'm just opening it, installing it. Once it's installed, I'm just opening the app. You can either log in if you've already created an account or you can click the sign up button on the bottom right there. In an effort to not divulge my email or password, I logged in and this is the home screen. Note the first time you logged in, it will give you just kind of a really quick overview on how to use it. To add your device, just click add device. Please check if the camera is flashing red. Once you've verified your camera is powered on and blinking red, you'll click the battery camera button in the top left. Next, you're gonna put in your Wi-Fi network and password and you'll click connection at the bottom. If you haven't already, make sure you take the plastic film off the lens of the camera and you'll click next. Then it's gonna show you a QR code that you have to hold in front of the camera so that the device will register to the app. Take the camera to scan the QR code at a distance of 5 to 8 inches. A tone will be heard when successfully scanned. That chime means that the camera has connected to the device, so just click the hear a tone. Connecting. Please wait a moment. It verifies its connection to your Wi-Fi and takes you to the next step, which is the camera name. You can choose any of the predetermined list or you can customize. I'm going to click customize and I'm going to label it horses and click continue. Now you'll see next to the customize, it shows horses as the name and I'm going to click next. It's going to show you how to charge a battery, how to mount the camera, and then it verifies what your Wi-Fi signal strength is and also gives you a preview of the camera. Just click finish. And then you can see that it has added the camera to your list of devices. Right here on this main screen, it shows you the battery power of the camera, the Wi-Fi signal strength. It gives you a share icon in case you want to share the device with friends, family, house sitters, whoever. So just a side note on the sharing. The person you're sharing the camera with has to have already set up an account with this app for you to be able to share it with them. 
basically you're granting their email address permission so it has to be an existing account it's really easy to do though you just click the share button it gives you some info click share you can either give them guest or admin if it is not somebody that lives in the home and you want to be able to actually control the entire system i would just give them the guest permissions and you click next you can choose any of the cameras that are on your system that you want to share and you click next and this is a step that you would input that email address of the person that you want to share it with again they already have to have an account um, so i'm not going to do it here but you would just click send and they get added to your account the push notification you can suspend them for 30 minutes an hour six hours or 12 hours if you have an sd card in the camera if you click this replay button, it will let you go and see that. I don't have an SD card in my camera right now, so it's not gonna replay anything for me. And then the settings button lets you change anything you want to. I personally don't want motion detection, so I'm gonna click on motion detection and I'm just gonna turn it off. My horses are gonna be moving all the time, so it would kill the battery and it would be going off all the time. I just want this system for live viewing. So I'm just turning that off and that's it. I've had this camera system installed now for a couple days. As you can see, I have four cameras set up now. I originally started out with just the one to kind of test it out and see how the system would perform. I was really happy with the way that one camera performed. So I got three more so that I could kind of keep an eye on all the areas of my paddocks that I wanted to. Um, the install again was really easy just the way I showed you before. It was super easy to get all of the cameras named and working um what i will say is i am super impressed by the range on these cameras what i mean by that is they're running off my in-home wi-fi no booster no antenna no anything special um and the closest camera is about 75 feet away from the router obviously with walls in between and the furthest camera if i were to guess is probably about 200 feet away from the router again with walls in between and all four cameras work flawlessly something i will note is that um the camera i'm about to open is the one that's furthest away. it does give a little message saying that the network um isn't very strong but i have had no issues of viewing it live or getting into it or jittery picture or anything like that you can see here it says you know 32 percent wi-fi signal strength in the bottom right and I've had no issues. I can zoom in um, however I want to. And since there's nothing moving here, it's hard <laughs> to show you that it's working. Um, but it does. It does a beautiful job. Um, I'll go over to a camera that hopefully will have some horses in it. And you can see it's lovely and windy here in Colorado today. But it works great. You can zoom in. Can scroll around you can zoom out if you want to speak to the horses or to a human or to a dog or to whatever happens to be on the other side of your camera all you have to do is hit this hold and speak button hey pretty girl hey Normally she's a lot more fun and comes up and says hello to the camera when I speak to her. <laughs> but obviously something's got her eye. Go over and just show you the other cameras so you can see how they all work. And again, you know, all of them you can zoom in, scroll around, can speak to her. Hey, pretty girl. You can see this horse also loves to come say hello when I speak to her. She doesn't quite understand it's a camera, though. She just thinks I'm in the yard. Um, I think it's pretty cute and funny, though. And then this one won't have any horses in it, but I'm showing it to you just so you can kind of see. Another thing to note is when you are setting up the cameras sometimes it doesn't let you name it exactly what you want with the initial setup so if you come here into the settings you can go into the name and actually give it the name you want to 
other great features about all of these settings is you can really kind of customize it to how you want it to perform. If you're going to use the motion detection, make sure to go into Power Manager and choose which setting more revolves around what you want it to perform like. And then inside of motion detection, you can actually set the sensitivity as well. So that will help a little bit in regards to, you know, how many fires of the notifications for motions that you get. Another thing I'll note is this is the camera that I've had the longest. So it's been up for, you know, four or five, maybe even longer days. And the battery is still at 89%. And I've done tons of live viewing through it. Um, I've been super impressed with how good these hold their battery. There is a solar charger that you can leave plugged into them 24-7 available. I personally don't feel like I need that, at least not at this point. Um, my cameras are in a place where they're going to be easy enough to take down and charge. And from what I can tell, the charge takes about five to six hours from a fully drained battery to fully charged. Down the road, I might try the solar charger. Something else to note, in these bottom three cameras, just for a quick glance, you can see there's a little running man with the circle and a line through him. That means the motion's not turned on for those cameras versus this top camera. Motion is on, so that little icon's missing. I do have some events saved from motions just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So since I have the lowest, most optimal battery saving setting, it only does 10 second videos. And since I have SD cards, it does videos. If you don't have SD cards in the camera, it does not save videos. It will only save a picture in here for you. And it's really easy to watch these. All you have to do is click on any of them. I don't know if I have any night ones to show you now. No night ones at the moment. Um, but it's really easy to just click in. It takes a second to load because what it's doing is it's connecting to the camera. Then it has to load the file from the SD card and then it's going to play it for you. So it just takes a second for it to load. You can see my girl here just saying hello to the camera, hoping that somebody's on the other side. I'll show you here in just a minute the night view of the cameras. It's also really impressive. Um, I wasn't sure how well it would perform at night just because I don't have them in a small confined area. So I didn't know how much I was going to be able to see. So I was really happy with that as well. You'll see that here in just a minute. As promised, I told you I would show you the nighttime viewing. As you can see, all my thumbnails are still daylight out. Um, that's because the last time I looked at the cameras, it was daylight out. So I'm just going to play button. And then you can see it takes just a second to adjust to the night lighting. But you can see that you can see the horse really well. Um, from the camera, the horse is, I would say, a solid 20 feet away um, at least on this camera. So the view is really good. You can kind of see the perimeter fencing. You can see the shelter in the background here. Zoom in and see the horse. Just like in the daytime, you could hold and speak if you wanted to. We'll go to the next camera. There was no horse, so now it just takes a second. It's going to take a second to adjust to the lighting. You can see the horse is taking a nap right by the camera. She is literally right in front of it. Um, so you can kind of see everything there. She's blocking anything else, so I can't really point out what else you could see in her camera. This one, once it adjusts, there is nobody hanging out. You can see the fence line. You can see the feeder, the shelter, cars driving down the road. And then the last one, which this is the furthest one away from the house. Like I said, it's about 200-ish feet or so. Um, so you'll see even at nighttime, it does a great job of uh, viewing. It takes just a second to load. Then the lighting's already adjusted. You can see the horse. It's kind of blocking the shelter so you can't see the shelter. You can see all the fencing in the background. You can see it moving around. 
I am super happy with this system. If you're looking for a set of cameras, either in the barn, in paddocks, wherever, as long as you've got an okay Wi-Fi signal, these will do great. They don't need a centralized box. They just work. It's easy to talk to the horses. You can get notifications for motion if you want to. You can turn it off. You can share the cameras with whomever you want. You can share only certain cameras or you can share all of them. I'm really impressed with how customizable it is. The app was free to download for all four cameras and all four SD cards. I want to say with my prime shipping and everything, I was maybe $250 total for four cameras. I mean, you can't beat it. I highly recommend it. Um, and if you have any questions, just drop me a comment or a DM. I'm happy to answer them.